Hey, what to do? What's up, YouTube? This ignorant show about to witness is brought to you by me, nigga. You know what I'm saying? We're still working the Supreme, looking real fresh. Steve's out, you know me. And yeah, Supreme team stand up. <laughs> yes, sir. And let's jump into today's video. You know what I'm saying? Today, I'm going to be talking about the odds of attraction. You know, I put some notes right here, made a few notes, and we're just gonna be breaking down, you know, love of writing in the house, you know what I'm saying? I'm turning into a love coach now. Funny thing though, before we jump into the video, I wanted to say, although I'm I'm trying to be a love coach in that, is like I don't have much experience with females either. You see what I'm saying? I mean, I've encountered the female, you know, I've encountered with them, but I don't have any relationship experience, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've tried, you know, getting into a relationship with a couple of girls, but it just hasn't worked out. You know, I'm gonna break down why, you know, I'm gonna tell you my story and experience. Shit, I'm already doing that. But yeah, so I guess we're just gonna jump straight in into the arts of attraction. But let me break down my story first. So it's like, growing up, you know, at a very young age, early age, you know, I already felt the connection I had with females, you know, I just love to be around them, I just love the energy, you know, but it was like, I had this encounter with, I guess, my first crush, or whatever you say, but it was like, I had the encounter with her, I think I was like, six, or seven, I'm not sure, you know, I just know it was during primary school, you know what I'm saying, and it was like, what, well, in math class, I think it was, you know, and like, we're just having a good time, you know, and like, shit, I was actually into this girl, but we had a, a kind of like, situation where it was like, I felt like she only liked me because I was smart, because like, Every time we were like chilling, cause she sat like next to me, and every time we were talking and that, she would pay me no attention unless when she waited to like get my answers for the math question and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So I, I think like me being like young and naive to shit, I just kind of put it on. Oh, she only likes me cause I'm smart. You know what I'm saying? So that kind of put me in the space where I couldn't see the fact that she really liked me. Being older now. And taking myself back to that moment, I can see she was into me. It's just I blew that shit away myself. But me not having this realization at that point, it kind of got me to a mindset of, yo, she didn't like me. She wanna use me. And because I stayed in that frame, it's like I kept attracting this situation of the same shit keep happening. You know, I got older. A few years went past. The next guy I came encounter with, I felt the same way with her. It was like, yes, I'll show these girls my interest. They'll show me interest back. They'll give me all this intention. But it's like what they would say, you know, and some of the shit they would, not even shit they would do. Because it's like, as I got older, it's like, girls really fucked with me. They liked me because I'm a dope ass motherfucker. So it's like the action we show they like me. And I'll pick up that vibe. But it's like what they would say to me. It's then like, oh, I'm just trying to be friends and that. And me being insecure and doubtable, you know, me holding on and filtering everything to that first experience of that first girl that felt like they didn't want me for me, just with me because I'm smart, that put me in a frame where I was just blocking all this attraction from coming in. I was resisting it, you know what I'm saying? I was playing too much into what these girls would say instead of just going with my gut intuition. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, you know, that happened to me like a couple of times. And when I finally realized it was with the last, like, I wouldn't even say a heartbreak. You know what I'm saying? That just woke me up to my naivety. So I appreciate, you know, that female. But the last female I encountered, it was like, I developed real feelings for her. Like, I was... I wouldn't even say I wasn't in love with her, but it was getting to that point, you know? It's like, it was crazy because me and her, we met, and it was like, boom, the fuse was just lit. You know what I'm saying? Like, our energy, you know, 
the way she was, who she was, I just felt so drawn to. You know what I'm saying? And like in her action, she was fucking with me too heavy. You know what I'm saying? Like she would let me do shit that is like, yo, if she didn't like me, then why the fuck are you let me do this? You see what I'm saying? But she would always tell me, yo, I'm just trying to be friends. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you all that, the whole full spectrum, in another story. That's another video. I'm not going to dive too deep into that. But after that, it was when I realized, yo, all these girls really liked me. I was the one that was being tripping. I was the one just blocking up this attraction and opposing it. Instead of just sitting in my power and trusting that, yes. You know what I'm saying? I feel what I feel and it's some real shit. You know, cause my past experience put me in an insecure space where I didn't even really fuck with emotions like that. I thought emotions were shit that were cringy. Like I said, I was real naive to the way of the world, the way of the universe, you know, the way of attraction. But yeah, that's pretty much my story up to this point, you know, and that was kind of one of my quests into self-mastery as well. You know what I'm saying? It's like, after all this, I had to... I got to a point where I was like, I need to gain master of myself, my energy, so I can really know what I truly want. I can really understand myself. Because although um, I felt like these girls didn't like me, it was because I didn't know what I want in the girl. So it was like... I would always filter that through my first experience, you know, my earliest experience of me feeling like a girl wanted me for my smarts. And I just kept playing out that cycle. But now I'm out of that fucking paradigm, you know, I'm getting more empowered in myself and I know what the fuck I want. And that is what I'm beginning to attract into my life, you know. At this point in my life, all the females around me, all the females in my circle, are real ass females, you know, are high value females, cause I'm not with that bullshit no more, bullshit for the birds, I'm just down for the money and the real girls, <laughs> I used to plug a little freestyle, you know? but yeah, let's jump straight into the video, first of all, we need to know attraction, what is attraction, look, you can even break it down to the laws of attraction, you know, everyone says the law of attraction, but what is the law of attraction? The law of attraction is opposites will always attract. You see that? So, what this means, because a lot of people don't understand that. They're like, opposites is always going to attract. So, is that, like, they get lost in that idea. But what the idea really means when you break it down and you look at it is, imagine I want to attract a pretty girl into my life. You know what I'm saying? The fact that I want that, that's telling the universe I don't already have that. So by default, the universe is going to be like, okay, now I'm going to psych you up to really show you that you don't have what you want. So the universe is going to throw you a position to what you desire. You desire pretty female, the universe is going to throw you a lot of high value females because you might be like, I want a high value females, but it's like the world is so, it's so lost in physicality that even I used to be like, I want a pretty female for the looks, you know what I'm saying? It was all about the looks for me at one point. I didn't even really think of the values. The values, it was, I was so superficial in the way I looked at attraction in females. You know what I'm saying? So imagine it was like, I had a desire to get a quality female, you know, just to get the love I want, but I'm filtering that through a superficial like, awareness of yes she has to be pretty she has to be 10 by 10 the universe will send me the love i want it will send me real love but will disguise it in maybe ugly girls you know what i'm saying or girls that i wouldn't really go for normally no one is truly ugly it's just how they see themselves but it's like the universe will oppose me that's exactly what i'm trying to say it will give me what i want but disguise it as what i don't want and if i play to that trick then that's it that's me being blinded to the opportunity of the universe and until i learned that lesson to let go of this superficial egotistical idea of what's best for me and actually go inwards and realize what i truly want beneath the surface that is when the magic starts to happen you know what i'm saying and once i get into that desire of i know what girl i want 
I want a high value girl that's gonna love me for me. You know what I'm saying? And I stay in that feeling. Even when the universe opposed me, I showed up position love instead of rejection. I showed up position love, and the longer I stay in that power of I already have what I want, you know, because I feel it. I feel the love, you know what I'm saying? And the longer I stay inside that power, then the universe will start to work in my favor and then the world will start to truly give me what I want. Because it's already been giving me what I want, but now I'm not resisting it no more. You see what I'm saying? And then that's when your true love will manifest into your life. So, laws of attraction. But for this, we're talking about the art of attraction. And you just need to know the word attraction means opposites will always attract. And now let's dive in a bit deeper into the masculine and feminine energy. You know what I'm saying? Because we're talking about love, relationship, hey, you know what I'm saying? Love for Brighty, huh? You know, I'm in love with love, so I got to break this down. You know, me being a guy means I have predominantly masculine energy. But inwards, I have a lot of feminine energy I tap into, you know what I'm saying? Just to receive. Because feminines are high vibrational beings. And they have the power to receive any abundance as long as they stick into their power. You know what I'm saying? And the masculine energy is more outwards, is more stubborn, is more fiery. You know what I'm saying? Is more, um, how can I say? Is more logical, is more, you, you get what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, masculine dudes were more macho, we're more in our fucking ego. You know, not trying to listen to nothing. You know, we're more with the anger. While the feminine energy is more dominant, it's more soft, you know what I'm saying? It's more warm, you feel me? It's more loving, it's more creative, you know what I'm saying? It's not so logical in its approach, it's more about the emotions, you know what I'm saying? So, it's like, now I have to go into the reason why some guys might not be getting the females they want, or they might be experiencing all this all this restriction and limitation, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of it is due, like, there's nothing really to blame, but it's just the society that we're in now is like, there's so much superficial ways of looking at things. People don't go deep enough to stuff. You know, a lot of people just stay on the surface level. What's gonna boost my ego? They don't really, Tune into that inner nature of what's gonna fulfill me in the long run. You know what I'm saying? What's some what's gonna lay foundation for me that I can build on? Not only looking at the instant gratification. And that's why a lot of your niggas don't have the female you want, and vice versa with your females. That's why a lot of your females don't have the niggas you want, the guys you want. You know what I'm saying? Cause a lot of guys, a lot of girls as well. <sighs> Let me take my breath, because I've been going on for a while. You know, a lot of girls as well, like, they look at guys they want in such a superficial way. A lot of girls now, they're more worried about hypes than the guy's core values and beliefs. You see how fucked up that is? You know what I'm saying? But it's okay for her to have a preference, you know what I'm saying? What I do have to say to females is, a lot of females nowadays are stuck in that social conditioning you know social standard expectation of of the type of guy you need or security you know what i'm saying just a lot of superficial bullshit you know what i'm saying a lot of females nowadays are acting more masculine than feminine they're acting more like fucking dudes bro and that fucks that fucking breaks my heart sometimes looking at that you know what i'm saying i'm like yo you're so powerful why are you giving up your power away like that you know what I'm saying? So it's like a lot of females are just in their ego. You know, they're just about the instant gratification. You see what I'm saying? You know, a lot of female are uh, a lot of female what it is is a lot of females don't really truly know what they want. You know what I'm saying? Cause the society we're in is kind of painted females as as weak and guys are stronger than females but in reality it's the opposite way 
everything, a lot of things in reality is backwards right now. You know what I'm saying? And new information is coming to light, but a lot of things in reality right now is backwards. Females are way stronger than guys. You know what I'm saying? Females should be the one knowing they can receive whatever they want. A female can get any guy she want if she stays in her power. It's like, it's so fucked up, like, the social standards right now where even females will really want a guy. You know what I'm saying? But she will never express how she feels. Like, she will never express, she will never go out to approach the guy. You know what I'm saying? She always want to wait for the guy to approach her. But if you don't put out into the universe what you want, you're not going to receive shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like a lot of females want the guys to be the one chasing them. You know what I'm saying? And guys give up their power when they're chasing as well. You know what I'm saying? Because now they're validating the girl's ego. They're boosting that shit up. And she's going to keep playing you like a little bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you keep chasing her. You know, I've been there. I've done that. You know what I'm saying? I can relate to all of your, all of your dudes out there. You know what I'm saying? Addicted to porn and shit because you can't even get the girl you want. You know what I'm saying? The instant you stop moving forward with a girl you're interested in, boom, now she's giving you all this fucking resistance. Because you're chasing. Instead of her, she be the one on your ass. Look, this is like, let me break it down to how it really is. You know what I'm saying? A girl needs to know she can get any guy she wants. You know what I'm saying? And a guy needs to know... Also, that he can get any girl he wants. But what the guy needs to realize is, it's not bound by the girl. Because a lot, I've seen a lot of relationships nowadays, you know, through me going through my experience and then just observing a lot of relationships. It's like, the guy is scared of losing the girl more than the girl is scared of losing the guy. That's so fucking backwards. You know what I'm saying? The girl needs to make sure, you know what I'm saying? The girl needs to make sure the guy feels secure enough that he's not going to leave her. It shouldn't be the other way around. And that's where society's fucked right days, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just trying to give some true game, you know? And like, you can see my voice. I have a lot of passion for this. I have a lot of joy, but I also have a lot of pain associated with it. Because of my experience. And that wasn't on no one. That wasn't on none of the females. I still, I love all of them still. You know what I'm saying? It's not something that I love them. Now, in this moment, I still have so much love for them. You know what I'm saying? But what it is, is I'm just realizing where I played wrong. And where they played wrong. You know what I'm saying? Because there's two ways to everything. You know what I'm saying? I had a part to play in the pain I experienced. And they also had a part to play in the pain I experienced. You know what I'm saying? You know, they were just reflecting to me how I was internally. But I couldn't see that at that point. And now I do. So, to put this all full circle and in perspective, you know what I'm saying? Most guys probably want to know, and females, you know what I'm saying? They want to know, how do I attract my true love? Females, let me start with y'all first, because I have to love for y'all. The niggas can figure that out. Niggas don't give a fuck anyways, you know what I'm saying? Niggas could go about fucking love girls and not catch feeling for none of them. But with y'all females, it's different. And y'all know why, you know what I'm saying? It's biological, it's in your DNA. But for y'all females, you want that true love, you need to know. Once you see the guy you want, once you see the guy, and don't look at no superficial shit like heights. I know your female, especially y'all that are interested in a guy shorter than you. You know, just because it's shorter than you, you're using that to close off your emotions. Fuck that. If the guy secured himself to know, yo, you're taller than me, but I'm still attracted to you, we can still make this work. Females. Don't close that off, because that could be your true love right there that you're closing up. Stop looking at a fucking external and go a bit more deeper. You know, check his values. I know y'all niggas even like to shit test guys, you know what I'm saying? You like to throw bullshit in a guy's face to see if he's confident enough in himself. 
do that shit. Find out his values. You know what I'm saying? Find out what he prioritizes. You know what I'm saying? And females, one more thing. You gotta let your guy explore. You know what I'm saying? What should I have a guy you're interested in? Even if you let him know you're interested in him. Don't expect the fact that you let him know you're interested in him means that it has to be with you. And don't take that as rejection. Because one thing I need to tell y'all is rejection only means not now. Be patient and be your power. Be greater than you are in the moment. And that's what rejection is. Because what I know is a lot of females right now, they're such in need of security and stability. You know what I'm saying? That they're chasing shit outside of them. You know what I'm saying? Instead of them sitting in the power to know I have everything I need. You know? A lot of females feel like they need a dude to be stable. No, your niggas have more balance than guys do. A lot of guys need y'all to be stable. But like I said, society is backwards as fuck right now. You know what I'm saying? So y'all need to also give your guy freedom to explore. Because if you give him that freedom to be able to explore different adventures and different females, if it comes back to you, then you know he truly fucks with you. So don't jump into nothing like, okay, now I told you I'm interested in you um, and you seem to be interested in me. Now let's jump into a relationship because that won't last. You know what I'm saying? Or if the dude tells you, um, I'm interested in you, but I want to explore. Don't take that as rejection because a lot of girls are so insecure in themselves. They take shit like that as rejection. You know what I'm saying? If a guy wants to reject you, he's not going to be nice about it like your females are. It's going to be blunt as fuck about it. It's going to let you know, yo, you're cool, but I'm just not into you like that. It's going to let you know. And then now you can take that as, yo, it's not interested in me. But if it's interested in you, it's going to tell you, I'm interested in you, but I don't want to get stuck in this shit. I want to experience more. You know what I'm saying? And you need to be patient and trust that, yo, it will come back to you. And if you don't, keep it stepping. It wasn't the right dude for you. So y'all need to stick in your power, man. Because I have so much love for y'all. You know, y'all just helps me grow so much. You know what I'm saying? And that is like, now I want to give back my love to y'all. Because y'all showed me so much love. I just wasn't open to accepting it. Now I am, and I want to give y'all my love as well. Because it's all love, baby. You see what I'm saying? And now for guys. <laughs> I don't need to say much to y'all. Y'all know what the fuck is going on. Y'all know. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know it's not about the external. Guys already been known this. You know what I'm saying? That's why there's a lot of fuck boys out there. Because once they see that the girl hasn't got the right value, they really just try to smash and dick. But that's where a lot of guys go wrong. Because they do it in such a like sly way. And karma is going to get your ass. Because when you find out real girl, she's going to do the same shit you've been doing to the other girls to you. So what's your karma, nigga? You see what I'm saying? And for your beta guys out there, you know, for your nice guys, I wouldn't even say nice guys because I'm a nice guy, but y'all need to know, stop letting these girls walk around you like this, bro you know what I'm saying, stop letting no female walk around you stop giving validation to her ego, because she's only gonna keep treating you like shit if you keep validating her guys be known this as well, show her your intent but showing her your intent and your interest is different from validating her. She gives you some bullshit. You know it's bullshit. Don't entertain the bullshit. Because a lot of guys would be so scared to lose the girl. I was, I, I was like that, you know, just a year ago. So it's like, it's not that I've been this way my whole life. No, I was insecure as fucking myself. But I was on a purpose. 
to be better every single day than I was the day before. To be truthful, to be honest, to tell my truth bluntly, without guilt, without regret. Everyone is flawed. But you have to be in your power, in your truth, to know. You know what I'm saying? Your niggas already know what's up. I don't have to talk too much to your masculine niggas. You know what I'm saying? But for y'all dudes with insecurities, for y'all dudes that feel like girls don't like you because I've been there, y'all just need to know they don't like you because you don't like you. It's that simple. The truth hurts, but in that pain is where you grow. Once you embrace that pain, that's when you can grow. You know, once you learn to love yourself, once you once you learn to see your worth and your value, you stop you stop fucking with girls that don't see that, that don't take you seriously. You stop fucking with girls that want you to chase them like they're something special. You know what I'm saying? Once you find a special girl, you're really gonna know, and she's not gonna let you chase, cause she will see your specialty as well. She will see what's special about you as well. She's not gonna see the superficial shit. So there's not gonna be no resistance. It's gonna be harmonious as fuck. It's gonna be true love. And I can go on forever about this shit because I have a lot of passion for this. You know what I'm saying? Love of Brady, huh? You know, I'm also like experiencing this shit. You know what I'm saying? I might say I'm love of Brady or I might call myself a love guru, love coach, but I still know nothing about love. I still have a lot to learn about love, you know? I have to go through this experience, I have to feel all this pain to know I'm capable of loving even deeper, even broader. I'm capable of loving a wide variety of people. Not just people that are in my close proximity, in my inner circle. I've got love for the whole universe because I know I'm that capable of that much love. So the instant both masculine and feminine energy starts being in themselves and loving themselves, they will start to harmoniously attract the right partner for them, the right partner to magnify their love, where two human beings, two consciousness can merge as one and really experience each other in the wholeness of their being. Anyways, I'm going to cut it here because we can keep going forever. I'm going to make another video diving deeper into masculine and feminine energy. You know what I'm saying? But for now, I hope y'all enjoyed the motherfucking video. I hope it inspired you and gave you value to be your power. You know, to go after what you truly want. To be great because you are great. You know what I'm saying? To get rid of any limitation you've been placing on yourself. You know, because the universe loves you. The universe wants to give you what you truly desire. But it can't be no superficial desire because that's not what your soul needs. You know, the universe is not going to boost your ego. You know? But yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like. You know, subscribe to my channel. You know, because I'm all about doing this for y'all. I'm all about just sharing my love with y'all and giving y'all as much value you know what I'm saying sharing my value with y'all so we can grow together cause I learn from like y'all every time you know I learn from the world every day so I like I just wanna give all I know back to peace and love